Welcome. So what I have is secant of x times cosecant of x equals 2 cosecant of x. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to solve this trigonometric equation. So just like any equation, the main important thing we need to do is first get all of our variables onto the same side. So I'm going to subtract a 2 cosecant of x from both sides. Therefore, I'm going to have secant of x times cosecant of x minus 2 cosecant of x equals 0. Now, um, I want to see, can I combine uh, my terms? And I can't. Um, because this cosecant is being multiplied by secant, so I can't combine it with the other cosecant. And I have two different types of functions. Now, I can't isolate one variable or combine like terms, so the next thing I want to look into is factoring. And I notice that both of these terms compare, um, contain a cosecant function. So I can factor out a cosecant function, cosecant of x, I'm sorry, and that's going to leave me with a secant of x minus 2 equals 0. Now, just like when we had other equate, when we when we're solving for factoring, when you have one term times another term equals zero, one or both have to equal zero. So you can say the cosecant of x equals zero, or the secant of x minus two equals zero. Then by solving for x, I get the secant of x equals two when I add two to both sides. So now we need to apply, you know, both these solutions. So we look at this and we say, you know, when does cosecant of x equal 0? Now remember, the cosecant of any angle is equal to 1 over your y coordinate, right? Well, if y was 0, then we'd have an undefined solution. So it's impossible for us to be able to define because you're always going to be 1 divided by a number, which is going to be y. Well, we can never take 1 divided by a number and get 0. So therefore, the cosecant of x equals 0 is going to be no solution. Because it's impossible for us to take 1 divided by a number and obtain 0. Um, because 1 divided by 0, remember, is undefined. So now let's take a look at secant of x equals 2. Now remember, the secant of an angle is equal to 1 over, uh, 1 over x. So what I like to do is I like to rewrite this as cosine, which would just be the x, which would be the reciprocal, which means I'm going to have 1 half. So now I can apply, I can find the values when cosine of x is equal to 1 half. So what I first do is look on the terms of 0 and 2 pi to figure out when is cosine of x equal to 1 half. So cosine of x is equal to 1 half at my first angle, which is pi over 3. And it's also equal to 1 half, not there, yes, there, um, at pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, at 5 pi over 3. So those are the two angles where my cosine is equal to 1 half, as represented as 1 half square root of 3 over 2, and at 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. You can see the x coordinate is both 1 half for there. However, I'm not, I want to find all the solutions for when cosine of x equals 1 half. So that means I want to find pi halves, or pi over 3, and then I want to add, and then what I want to go when it's going to go around another coterminal angle, Again, and again, and again. So to keep on adding up all those solutions, I'm going to say x equals pi over 3 plus 2 pi, because if I have pi over 3 plus 2 pi as many times as I want to go, which will be n. Then I can say my other solution, x equals 5 pi over 3. So when I get to this angle, and then for all the coterminal angles, I'm going to add 2 pi n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve all your solutions for the equation secant of x, cosecant of x, equals 2 cosecant of x. Thanks.